Hello, this is Steam Low with Comps of X. I hope you're having a good day and getting some good trades. Today, we'll take a quick look at the dollar CAD. The BOC today left interest rates unchanged at 1%. They expressed some concerns over low inflation, and there was a dovish tone from Governor Polaz on housing and some additional comments regarding Fed tapering and how that might affect the economy. Yet, the BOC is completely okay with the recent weakness we've seen in the CAD overall. You got to look back in October, the CAD was sitting down around 103, and now here we are knocking the door of 111. So a very strong move today broke through some barriers at 950, 1000 mark, 1050, 1075, and just pushed up here just shy of the 111 mark. So what I want to do is take a quick look as to where we're potentially going with the dollar CAD and how this dollar CAD move to the upside, the weakness we see in the CAD, is also affecting the CAD yen. So you can see the very tight, shallow range here. Uh, the BOC came out with an interest rate at 1% expected, unchanged. Everyone was looking for the comments and not surprisingly, we got the comments as expected and a strong push up, actually moving higher than many market participants had expected. You have to go out to the really the monthly chart and look back at some highs that were seen back in 2009, where from that 2009 high to the low that we had, the current target in the marketplace that most institutions are looking for is 50% retrace, which puts it at the 112.35 area. So at this point, with this move up, we're within about 125, 130 points away from that target sitting here just shy of the 111 mark. There are some offers up around the 111 mark, but they're fairly thin right now. We'll see if the market continues to push higher on the intraday perspective. If it does, then look for the market to push up to 112.35 on the dollar CAD. Taking a look at the Traders Dynamic Index down below from a monthly perspective, this looks pretty good to the upside. The market baseline representing the overall trend has already pushed up beyond the 50, but there's a lot of potential upward movement here. Now when you do go back down to the hourly chart or one of the intraday charts, you can see that the Traders Dynamic Index is up here pretty high. Usually when the green and red line of the Traders Dynamic Index is up fairly high, we see them fall back down towards the yellow, but expect possibly a bounce off the yellow and back up. Now here's something that's important. We might see some sentiment fall off, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the price will fall off. There's still a number of buy stops above the 111 mark to see it push on up to that 1235 level. So just be careful in thinking that there's going to be this big fall back down. There may not be. If you see the Traders Dynamic Index fall back down but doesn't go below the 50 or just simply bounces off the yellow market baseline from an intraday perspective, then look for continuation to the upside. If I step down to the 15-minute chart, you can see that the green and red have dropped a little bit, the market baseline still rising, we could see this fall back over. If on the intraday perspective, if it gets down here to about the 50 level, flattens out about the 50 level, but price does not fall back, then look for continuation higher. Taking a look at the CAD yen, again another big move. In this case with the CAD weakness, we saw this move down with the CAD yen. Now stepping out and looking at the weekly chart, I want to point out some levels to be aware of. We've seen the market push down pretty good. It's basically from this point to this point, we're sitting at about a 786 retracement. There is the possibility the market pushes down here and takes out this 9270 area. If it takes that out, then look for the market to push down and start taking out some other levels down around 9160, and then we have this bigger level right down here sitting around the 8850 mark. It does show a potential double top, a declining double top, and if you'll notice that we already have the direction of the market to the downside in the Traders Dynamic Index. So I'm looking for the CAD yen to potentially push down unless we have some continued easing in the yen. If the yen starts weakening, we could see a little bit of balancing act in this to bounce a little bit along this area. Now one thing to consider when it comes to the Japanese yen is we're going to have repatriation going into February. Repatriation 
and that is Japanese investors having made foreign investments have to close out those foreign investments bring the money back home and pay taxes in that repatriation we typically find the yen strengthening in this case the CAD yen would then make that push down as long as the CAD stays weak we would see that CAD yen slip down and start tagging these levels again around the 9270 9250 area on down to the 9150 area and then I see potentially on down to the 8844 level with this downward movement now one last thing on the CAD yen I want to point out is if you take a look on the daily chart we can see that we've had a pretty good move back down we broke this low point right here and from there we've almost had a 127.2 extension again from swing low to swing high now this 127.2 is not back down to that lower point but I'm thinking there's a possibility if we break 111 and go higher in the dollar CAD look for the CAD yen to slip down to 9350 I think that's a pretty good average level before we start getting down below those bigger levels but notice here from that swing low to swing high that first weekly level I put up was about 9270. Well, look where the 1618 comes in at from this swing low to swing high and looking at the short trade extension. So look for overnight and into the tomorrow and the coming days for the market to take out 94, push down to 9350, and then possibly on down to 9270. For this to take place, we'd have some continued strength in the yen weakness in the CAD as the dollar CAD in and of itself continues to climb higher as I mentioned in the monthly chart to the 50 percent level. This is Dean Lynn with Compass FX. Hope some of the information I've shared with you on the dollar CAD and the CAD yen will help you in your trading. Y'all make it a great day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.